Cell phones have become a technology that students can't seem to live without. But entering the classroom, cell phones become a disruption that professors can live without. Eagle Eye teaches you about cell phone etiquette in the classroom. Over the past few years, cell phones have become essential for college students. However, this sometimes creates a problem. I had a, uh, a student one time, this was when cell phones were first, first becoming popular. Her cell phone rang and she actually answered it in class. In a large world history class of about 200 students where someone's cell phone went off in class and it not only broke my concentration, but it broke the concentration of students who were trying to take notes. Ironically, students seem to find cell phones in the classroom just as distracting as the professors. Um, if they're loud, generally if they don't turn them on vibrate, it's really distracting, um, especially when they have annoying friends who try and call them three, four times. It's not, it stops and they turn them off pretty quick, so it's not that annoying. I think the teachers handle it pretty well on their own. Um, I guess when kids do start talking or when they won't stop ringing, it gets to be a problem. With no formal policy regarding cell phone use in the classroom, the roles are left completely up to the individual professor. It is to turn it off, that it doesn't ring and it doesn't buzz, because buzzing is almost as bad as ringing. And if your cell phone goes off in class, you get to stand up and sing a song. My individual policy overall is um, no electronic use in the classroom except for um, laptop computer use to take notes. If a student repeatedly disrupts the class learning environment because of electronics, and that can include um, IMing, um, then I will count that student unexcused absent. I think for most students, they, they don't do it to be rude. Uh, it's just that they have the cell phone, they're accustomed to the cell phone being on, and you know, it rings in class, and you know, first time it happens, it's, you know, it's a little irritating. After that, it, it becomes obnoxious. For Eagle Eye News, this is Melissa Johnson.